Hey guys, I'm Emmeline, aka Winter Star Cosplay, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you three different methods of doing scar makeup for cosplays or costumes. They're all super easy and none of them require liquid latex or anything crazy, and they can all turn out looking pretty good. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll start off with one of the easiest methods. For this one, you only need a couple different colors of red and pink lip liners. I use a light pink, a darker pink, and then a bright red one, but you can use whatever you have on hand or is easily available. To start off, you'll draw a thin line using the lightest pink lip liner, marking out where you want your scar to be. Then, using your finger, blend it out, blurring the edges out so that it looks more realistic. On top of your first lighter area where you originally drew the scar line, use a darker lip liner and a thin line in the same place, blending it out with your finger again, but not quite as much so that it still stands out more. To add more dimension, use the darkest red lip liner and add it to the center of the scar again, then just blend it out more with your finger. Keep adding layers of lip liner and blending it out until you're happy with how it looks, and you're left with a nice, realistic red scar for your cosplay or costume. This type of scar technique is what I used to make the scar for my cosplay of General Amaya from the Dragon Prince. I used the lightest pink lip liner I had to make the general shape, then blended it out, added a darker pink on top of it, and blended it out more. It's a super quick, easy way to get a nice scar effect. For this next scar effect, you'll need the same pink lip liners as before, but this time you'll need a white one as well. A lip liner pencil or an eyeliner pencil will both work equally well. Using this white pencil, first make the marks of where you want your scars to be. Then take your pink lip liner pencil and draw a thin border with it all the way around the white part of the scar, extending it a bit along the top and bottom. That being done, then just use your finger to blend it out. If you don't want to use your finger, you can also just use a q-tip, which also works great. Once you've blended out the first layer, use the white pencil again to add another layer in the middle of the scar, making it more distinct. Then you can pretty much just repeat the same process as before, layering the pink and white pencils, blending out with your finger until you're happy with how it looks. To make the white part more distinct, I'll also sometimes use a white multi-stick, which works great because it's so saturated with white. And then it's done! Another quick, easy scar technique. This is the method that I used for my dream cosplay from Dream SMP, and I think that it turned out great. This final scar technique is more to make a burn scar, or a scar that covers a larger area rather than a thin cut from like a sword or something. It's also one that mimics the technique used for liquid latex, but without any latex. For this one, you'll need white skull glue, tissue or toilet paper, and red and brown eyeshadow. First off, take the tissue paper and tear it apart, making lots of little uneven pieces. Once you're done with that and you have a decent amount, put them aside in a little pile. Next, take the white school glue and add it to the area on your skin where you want the scar to be. If it's more of a complex area or shape, it can help to draw it out really lightly with a lip liner beforehand. Once the school glue is spread out, start adding the tissue paper, patting it down with your finger onto the glue to hold it there. Keep adding these pieces of tissue paper until you've covered the area you want to have a scar. Then add more white glue on top of that to both hold it down and then add more tissue paper on top. You want it to look layered and uneven to make it more realistic. You can also use your fingers to smooth and blend out the edges of the glue. Just make sure that you don't have too many areas that are just glue on your skin without any tissue paper on top because that can make it harder to color it. Once you've added all of the glue and tissue paper, it can take several minutes for the glue to dry, but make sure it's completely dry for the next step so that it doesn't stick to your brush and then just come off. But once it has dried, it's time to make it look more like an actual scar. Take a couple of shades of matte brown eyeshadow and add it to your eyeshadow brush, patting it on and around the area of the scar you just made. Make sure that you add enough so that you can see it pretty well against your skin. Use several different shades of brown, lighter and darker, to help keep it more realistic. You can also take some red eyeshadow and use that to add more dimension to the scar, making it, again, look more realistic and like a burn or injury. Keep adding eyeshadow on and around the scar until it looks how you want it to. And then you're done! Another nice, latex-free method of making a scar. You can use the same method of white glue and tissue paper to make all sorts of scars, like I did for my Tubbo cosplay from Dream SMP. That is a bit of an extreme use of it, but it's still a good example of what can be done. For the first two scar methods, you can just use a makeup wipe to get it off pretty easily. For the last one, just run it under warm water and rub it off. You can also use warm water and hand soap as well. Since it's just glue and tissue paper, it comes off really easily. Just don't try to peel it off when it's not wet because, as I found out from unfortunate experience, that can be slightly painful. And there you have it! Three different super easy methods for doing scar makeup. If you have any other methods you like to use for easy scar makeup, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, you'll like and subscribe to my channel so you can see even more cosplay content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.